Welcome to Apostolic Sermons TV. On this channel, you're going to be getting soul lifting messages, prayers that will help you grow and mature spiritually. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video you're about to watch, and comment also. Thank you and stay blessed. I have a very powerful friend. He is so good. I don't want to describe him too much so that he will not know he's the one I'm talking about. He was somewhere in the United States, in school. And his mom just woke up in the morning and said, this is my son, won't he come back again? That was all. She went and concocted and sent two spirits to bring his boy back. He was almost graduating. He left school and came back and could never go again till today. Do you know what? His mom is dead. But this guy cannot sit down in one place till today. The person responsible for his journeys has died. The implication of the transaction that was done, the demons are still watching over it to perform it. What the priest in Nogopo is saying is when you have finished University of Ghana, you will discover that your situation will not change because we have locked you at home. Go and improve your brain. Are you there? Yes. And so, he gives us insight. He said the only thing have you read your Bible? He said he that falls in the day of adversity. Why, why, why did he fall? His strength is small. So you, you don't even know your state until there is adversity. Then we can measure your level of strength. This scripture I'm bringing to your knowledge, which is initial preparation for warriors. And the reason why we should be prepared for war is that anyone that says thy kingdom come is already in war so Ephesians begins by telling us that we wrestle he is not telling us that we are about to wrestle he's not telling us that somewhere when you are 55 you will wrestle he said right now it's not obvious but you are involved in the wrestle so in view of the fact that you are involved in the wrestle he says be thou strong in the Lord and be thou strong in the power that is in his mind. I'm going to end briefly in this realm, except you create a pathway through prayer. No spirit being has a right to operate here except priesthood provides the allowance. So when you go to the northern region and you see that it's infested with witchcraft power, it's because people have been trained, people have been educated as to what to do to make witchcraft spirits operate within the realm. There is no spiritual presence of darkness that you see that was occasioned by darkness. It was occasioned by a human being that created a pathway for that spirit to come into the realm. And so just in case in your family, the most predominant presence is darkness. It means that there are people that are educated as to what to do to bring darkness into the realm. Don't look for the spirits. Look for the people. They are human beings. But they have education. Because the Bible says that the people that do know their God, they shall be strong. And the, the Bible didn't say the people that know Jehovah. It said they are God. They are God. So anyone that knows the God of Nogopo is a strong man. And he will do exploits. Well, we are the only ones that are not taught how to do warfare, how to interface with the spirit that supports us. We were not taught. All we are looking for is breakthrough. Go, go to Nogopo. The people that served Satan there, they are not looking for breakthrough. Think about it. We are the only people that are misplaced. We don't even know. 
A man that knows Satan well is satisfied in spiritual knowledge. He doesn't need to go to school for people to bring money to him. People will go to Harvard, go to Oxford and harvest money in pounds and bring to him in the village in Volta. Yes, they'll bring to Because anywhere spiritual things are active, financial and material things will come anywhere, whether divine or demonic. So, he, 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 in the eyes of that priest, he, you are wasting your time in the University of Ghana. Yes, he said, you see this? <laughs> so, what is she doing there? Are you there? 